and welcome back to another YouTube video. I don't record these very often because it's way harder than streaming, but today is a very special occasion because you are about to meet the chat. Some of you may have watched the Meet the Team Team Fortress 2 series. Boom. Hit shot. Which is where I got this idea from and what I based my last Meet the Chat video on about two years ago. It was supposed to be a series, but it didn't become one because it's hard to talk about people that you like. Some, some of them at least. Uh, I, like, I like some of them. So, for those of you who don't know what this is, the Meet the Chat is going to be a group a little collection of 10 people from my community that I will be reviewing, I suppose. They're getting reviewed, they're getting audited on their pros, cons, and an honorable moment of theirs. What I mean by that is I'm gonna say one nice thing about them, or maybe a collection, depending on how good they are. I'm gonna say some bad things about them. Very bad stuff that you don't know about them. And three, I'm gonna mention an honorable moment, if they have one, some people are not honorable and don't deserve to be honored. This whole video is made to honor the people of my community, the Cranium, which is the name of the Discord down below. See, that's funny because my name's Numskull and the Cranium is the top part of the head that does the thinking. Yeah, that's right. Mind Cranium blown. If you haven't gotten the, uh, the pleasure, the opportunity to meet my community, <laughs> Don't be afraid. When you get into the Twitch room, into the chatting box, you'll be like, oh, hey, I know that guy. You can go, oh, look, I know him. Oh, and I know that guy. And I... <sighs> that guy is fucking crazy. Speaking of which, our first person that I'm going to be reviewing's name is actually crazy. This is a, not his actual profile picture. It's just the one he gave me because he thought it was really funny that he got a box of water. Crazy. Uh, chose an emote to assign to himself, and it is the ah ha 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 emote. I don't know why. I don't know. If, I don't know why. I don't, does he think he's a jokes the funny man? Crazy's pro. For anybody who knows him, I know the idea of a crazy, some kind of abstraction, but the real him is yet to be seen. From what I do know, crazy is actually, and I will reference this later in his honorable moment, is a musician. I don't know if he's actually ever called himself that. We call him more of an artist in the way he's able to construct pieces of music based off of widely uh, Twitch-based content. Crazy uses his music for good and we all uh, very much enjoy it. There's a lot of hits that he's come up with uh, for the Discord. And so if you're ever around in the Discord, you're more than likely gonna run into a crazy banger. However, a con for poor Crazy and he's not gonna like me for bringing this up. Some eons ago, I think it was less than a year, I'm not 100% sure, Crazy wrangled a wild furry in the form of e-dating, e-romancing. And he brought this little deranged pup into the Discord to where I had free reign to One fateful day, I decided that there was a new rule for the Cranium, the name of the Discord. Which was that no fairies are allowed. Zero. So if you are one, you're getting bullied or you're getting banned. Thus, I banned them. So crazy. Don't ever do that shit again. I don't want to see those people around here anymore. You know better than that. We've got the honorable moment for crazy. Let's, uh, let's take a second and let's listen. Let's listen to some of his creations. Maybe just one of his creations. I haven't decided yet. He's got a lot of good ones. Next, we've got CK and he chose his emote Numsk Slam. Not 100% sure why. The only time I've heard him rage is when we're playing VR Walkabout Mini Golf. But maybe he just likes seeing me smash the ever living wood out of my desk when I get a little bit upset. Just a little bit. 
you know, it's good for just a little bit, you know, just a little boop every once in a while. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do a little bit of story time about CK, okay? You know, oftentimes you'll have people on the Twitcher who are moseying around the, the wasteland that it is looking for somebody to watch based on the fact that they're enjoying a game at the moment. So they wanna see somebody else experience that game that they like so much. And for me, well for CK, that was me playing God of War 4, the uh, better one. And he, uh, he howdy doo art on in and he said, hey, dude, that's a cool game you're playing. I was like, hey, thanks, man. And I had a long, good conversation with CK. I learned that he knew a lot about Norse mythology. And so we conversed a lot about this. And I was like, at the end of the playthrough, I was thinking, damn, I'm going to lose this CK guy because this is all he came for. People do that a lot of the time. They just come for one game. But lo and behold, no, he didn't. No, he did not. He stayed. He stayed to hang out with me across a slew of different games. And it just so happened that like the next three games I played, he knew absolutely everything about. I think that was Walking Dead Telltale, Red Dead Redemption 2, Ghost of Tsushima. That might've been a little bit later, but I can't remember, but he does know everything about all of those games. I was graced, uh, I was graced with Lord CK and he has remained in the chat room ever since, uh, berating me for my terrible gaming skills, uh, despite me being the world renowned best. However, there's a con for CK. There is a con for CK. You wanna know what it is? You wanna know what it is? Does everybody wanna know what it is? He doesn't have a PC and he sucks at VR walkabout mini golf. There, I said it. It's said now, can't say anything else about it. He does have an honorable moment. And instead of explaining to you what it is, I'm just gonna show you. Fucking cow. <laughs> Interrupting Cal. No, 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 fuck you. <laughs> that was way funnier than it should have been. Look how red I am. Next, we've got Seaweed, who I'm not 100% sure should be on this list, but nobody else really applied for it. To, so we're doing Seaweed. I'm just kidding. Seaweed's... Now, Seaweed chose the emo to describe him to be... Pepega. However, that emote is reserved for somebody else. And so I will assign him any of the emotes that have to do with having brain damage. So like Phil's Dank Man or any slew of other ones. For Seaweed, I'm going to talk about a pro that I don't think many people know too much about, okay? Nobody would really know about this other than me. I think, and I'm sure he does it for other people, but you know. Actually, I hadn't considered that until now. See, if you do this for other people, I'm going to take it as blatant disrespect. But what it is that he does is of an evening or of a morning, rather, I'll get a message from Seaweed saying something along the lines of, I hope you slept well. Hope you're having a good day, buddy. Uh, you look great today. Stuff like that. Despite having not seen me at all that day, he doesn't know what I look like, but, you know, it's a fair assumption. I'm pretty. However, I'm gonna say however a lot today. He is, as he's con, a criminal spammer. He spams so much stuff. Like just all the time everywhere. And he finds it funny. The other thing he finds funny is loud. But loud is sometimes, I think we should appropriate that quote. Loud is sometimes funny, okay? Not loud equals funny and being sarcastic about it. Loud can be funny sometimes. But in this situation, seaweed thinks loud is funny all of the time. Do so you take that in your stride, pal, when you're studying for 48 hours in one session? Like, you guys, look, I'm getting ready for my exam. I'm studying for 48 hours. And it's like, he actually does this. He studies for an absurd amount of time, studies. Uh, so just bro, anything after the first three hours of studying, you're learning uh, considerably less amounts of stuff. I know there's that guy on the YouTube with the massive Afro head. And so he's like, guys, I can study for 18 hours on my MacBook 1967. <laughs> I'm writing on my notepad. Ooh. Ooh, some scrum diddly dumpsters. Just give me all of that information. I'll gobble up all that information. For the honorable moment, unfortunately, I don't believe I have a clip of this, but I'm going to say it because I feel like it's more speaks to Seaweed's character rather than anything else. And it's that uh, one fateful 24 hour stream, i.e., my first one ever, during one of my, I think it was a pee break or a food break or something, I had Seaweed on to read out something very interesting for everybody. And that happened to be the Pakistani KFC menu. And you're probably thinking to yourself, 
I could probably just look that up. First, why would you look it up if you don't live in Pakistan? And two, it's way more funny to find it out when he's reading it because all the prices on there are unbelievably cheaper. All the food on there is most definitely tampered with beyond belief or just not real chicken because you can get like a Zinger box for two bucks 50. An entire Zinger box. I'm like, mate, with, like with the drink as well. Are you kidding? All right, next up, we have a very special case and not in a derogatory use of the word special. We have Relissimo, who chose his emote to be just the smile, not even an emote, because he thinks that that makes people understand that he is a normie. However, I'll phrase it like this. Rallis is the only person that I've met in real life before meeting him through stream that isn't involved in content creation of any form that actually watches the stream. I don't think you understand how groundbreaking that is because it's not weird to have him watch the stream. I usually find like if I see somebody that I know their username and they come to the stream I'm like, oh shit, I gotta make sure I'm streaming. Like, oh, I hope people make them think that I'm really good at this through the chat is. But with Rallis, it's different. I feel like Rallis is an actual part of the community and I appreciate him so much. For those of you who don't know, I met Rallis on orientation day of my first day at university. And he came up to with his group of friends whilst I was being a little loner in the corner on my phone. And he introduced himself and his friends to me. And the rest is history, literally. It happened like three years ago. So Rallis, that was an awesome moment for you. Could be your honorable moment. I probably should have done that, but I, uh, I have a different one. However, that honorable moment and the con are intertwined. Rallis is what we like to call, I say we, me right now in this moment, a hoarder. He is a hoarder of channel points. And that really isn't too much of a big deal, but this is a, like 138K, 238K. This is big. This is the biggest, I think. So let's just, let's go back over. If Heads wins, Relissimo gets the majority of the payout. If Tails wins, Ahmed gets it. However, there's something we didn't factor into the equation. A little while ago, someone by the name I will mention in a second, won a rig the coin flip on the little wheel. Congratulations to Heads. Relissimo wins again! He wins! Good shit, Heads! As far as I'm concerned, that's both the con and honorable Rallis. Next up, we've got O to the C to the E D E X Ocadex. O C E Dex. Oceanic Dexel Dan of the Twitch. Dex has chosen the emote queue up, which I believe to be completely accurate due to his 24 hours spent Valorant gaming. I'll explain that in one sec. Now for Dexel's Pro, I've got too many to even say, you know, he's handsome, he's a gamer. Yes, I'm uh, gay. This other guy? His emotes are sweet. I use them a lot. He's a funny guy. But you know, Dex, there's one glaring issue, okay? And it's that uh, you refuse to let go of the past. Valorant and Fortnite. Oh, man. You know, it's people want to see the Valheim Dex. They want to see the Overwatch Dex. Now they want to see the Team Fortress 2 Dex. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's not happening. <laughs> I hate your <laughs> condescending voice. <laughs> yep, this is happening though. <laughs> it's time to drop these things. Give yourself a break. Get, let the cholesterol and the anxiety levels get back down to a healthy level. So you can move on with your life, man. So you can move on. However, on that, just to prove to you that this is unhealthy for Dax, he one time, and this will be his honorable moment, Completed a 24 hour stream. Now that on its own, without sleeping, might I say, is very impressive. However, doing that whilst only queuing 
Valorant ranked for the entire 24 hours? Takes a psychopath. It's unbelievable. I cannot think of anything more painful in my life. That's not true. There's many forms of torture that would be worse, but that would be one of them. So Dex, do yourself a favor. Get some help. Now we've got Moldy Noodle. Now Moldy Noodle is a guy who thinks that his emote should be feels late man because he gets onto stream late all the time. Now I don't think that aptly describes him, but I'm also prohibited from saying what I really think about him because I'm fearing for my life. My lawyers told me I couldn't. The public encouraged me against saying what his emote should be. We'll get straight into the pro. The pro for Moldy Noodle is that he is a very long time member of the community. Well, probably one of the longest at this point, or it may, at least the longest on this list. Throughout that very extended career in the cranium, so it were, he has produced some very delectable, good, very nice pieces of artwork. This guy is an absolute demon on the sketch pad, and also might I say, a uh, demon on the dice. This guy and D&D &D go together like bread and butter, like bacon and eggs, peanut butter, and jelly, like salt and vinegar. But now we've got a problem. We've got a problem, Moldy Noodle. We've got to talk about it, okay? We've got to talk out this problem right now. You understand? Me and you, right here, right now. I'm a little concerned for you, bro. I'm a little concerned. I understand that you've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV at the moment. I also understand that Final Fantasy XIV is like Hentai Haven 2.0. And if anything is to be said about that, it'd be an absolute tragedy for it to disappear, but fret not, my friend. I could bring you out of this addiction. You gotta stop being such a horn dog for the cartoon Bahubis. Now we're gonna talk about your honorable moments. And yet again, this is probably gonna take you by surprise, but it's honorable to me because I think about it from time to time. Whenever you come up, I sort of think about this because it was so outlandish and such a sight I hadn't seen before. So I'm just gonna show you the clip to epitomize the horn dogness of the true Moldy Nudel. How about, since you tried to fist me, you know what, let's play into it. How about I eat you out? <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have, I want to stand like this for this whole time. We've got Snozes. Now, there's only a few things you need to know about Snozes. The first one is that he chose the emote Nice Cuck. Nice guck. You know, fair enough, I'll let him have it. He can have that. I think there's probably other ones that he could use, like me colon would probably be a good one. Uh, wide Drake would be another good one. Also, who let him cook would be another good one, but I digress. We're gonna talk about his pro now. His pro now, not his pronoun. This is gonna taste like vomit coming out of my mouth, but his pro, has definitely got to be his Riz. And what I mean by that is, he has, for a kid his age, an overwhelming amount of confidence. His confidence is just unmatched. He also used to be a streamer for a game that we won't talk about. And uh, he used to raid me from time to time, which I really appreciate. I wanted you to know that I appreciated that. Thank you very much, Snozzers. However, you've changed. Okay, you have changed. From that guy that used to stream that game, you've become something of a con yourself. What I mean by that is, uh, you have to understand, mate. Valorant is not a dating website. You shouldn't be going on there to look for girlfriends. I understand, no, I don't do it anymore. The girl I talk to now leaves me undelivered for six hours. But it doesn't absolve you of your past transgressions. We can't simply let this slide, man. You are adamant. It's like, how I've got to, I'm rizzing up Valorant e-girls. Oh. Now, I would give him an honorable moment, but due to the great dishonor that he provided the community with it when committing this treacherous act of using Valorant as a dating platform, I believe that he doesn't deserve one due to his lack of honor. Now, if he decides to regain this honor in the future by doing something that I deem worthy of being honorable, Maybe I'll bring that up in a part three of this series. Series? I'm a YouTuber now, guys. I'm doing YouTube series. But who knows? 
Probably not though. Probably not, knowing this freaking guy. Next up, we've got Golden Schnitzel. Now, of course, the emote for Schnitt couldn't be anything else. It's literally him as a human being. And it's going to be Gachi. Just the emote Gachi on its own, no variation. Moving on to the pro, I'm going to talk to you about something that a lot of people probably don't know about Schnitzel is that he's very much an ideas man. You know, he was the one that decided I should add AITTS to the channel. He helped me set that up. Put a vest on an alligator. An investigator, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, as part of a lot of community garnering things such as the Spotify rap channel in the Discord, which has kicked off a whole new wave of all different reviewing stuff inside the cranium. He's just keeps me up to date with a lot of Twitch things that I wouldn't otherwise think about myself, which is incredibly helpful. You know, there was one time on April Fool's last year where he recommended that I change like the top 10, or I'm not sure if it's top 10 or like top 15, top 20 most commonly used words to emotes of my face. So whenever somebody would type them, they couldn't get it out of a sentence without using my head in it like three times, which was hilarious. And so for that schnitt, I really do appreciate everything you've helped me do on the channel. I'm sure I could have just done this entire thing based on things to do with Gachi and whatnot, but being a guy that has a, like a an endless store of Twitch knowledge, I uh, you know I appreciate your indulgence in the in the arts of homoeroticism. So we can say that's a plus too. Okay, I just sat down for 10 minutes trying to think of a con for Schnitt. Can't really come up with it. Uh, so we're just gonna go to the honorable moments instead, I think, which is something that I'd like to talk about. And it's something probably kind of outside of the scope for a lot of people, but to me it's honorable. And it was a uh, very special moment that Schnitt and I shared, which was a little while ago, I hosted an emote competition and his emote won the entire thing with the, the Numsk special emote, which is one of the most used emotes on the channel at the moment. The condition of winning was that I was going to pay out the winner with a certain amount of money. And so when I was in contact with Schnitt, I said, hey man, what's your PayPal so I can pay you? And he sent it to me. But then he said, how about instead you donate to my streamable so that way you're the top donator on there forever. And I was like, that's sweet as frick, man. I'd 100% do that. And so now and hopefully forever, if anybody checks Golden Schnitzel's streamable, his donation link for streaming stuff, I will be at the top as the king donator to Mr. Schnitzel. I just thought that was a really cool thing to do. It was sort of something like that I wouldn't have thought of, uh, which kind of seems to be the, the trend with Schnitzel. Just the same way I can't think of a con. So you gotta wait easy, Schnitzel. Frack it. However, this next guy definitely has a con. Definitely. And that is... Uh, That's right, Bobo. I'm gonna use the emote for you really mad because you always seem to be. Other than when the conversation is about you, you little narcissist, boom, already two insults. But we're gonna talk about the pros, okay? I will begrudgingly admit that Bobo is actually very funny and has great comedic timing. His jokes are just always inserted at appropriate times and are usually very cutting. And when he decides to be, he will cut down somebody that he doesn't like or disapproves of. I've seen it happen many times, many, many times. It doesn't matter who it is, Bobo will shamelessly completely berate a person to the point of their leaving of the channel, which whilst I do respect and probably wouldn't do myself, I think it's very cool that you can bully people. <laughs> uh, but he's really just an all-rounder and a very enjoyable person to do the gaming with. So Bobo, that's a pro you can tuck in your back pocket and take with you on your travels. However, you got a con, bro. You got a con. And it kind of looks like this. Gone. Vanished into the ether for no reason. As soon as you mention to Bobo something that he's either not interested in, doesn't want to reply to, or is, that these are all the same thing, is bored with, you know, feels as though it isn't worth his time, is all just the same thing. He's just gone, you know? You're like, hey man, can you do this? Boof. Hey Bobo, I think this person said <laughs> Gone. Immediately disappeared. Unbelievable. I will now sing Baby Come Back in its entirety 
about Bobo. Just kidding, I'm not doing that. Honorable moment. I just, I enjoyed this clip so much, and he knows the clip that I'm going to show. It's because it completely debunks everything possibly to do with Bobo's character. And I don't know why we got this moment. It kind of feels like a once in a blue moon thing. Like the moon eclipsed the sun and then the moon did a backflip onto the moon, onto the sun, and then did a kickflip off again back into space. Like that's kind of like, you know, that's, you know how often that happens? Very little, very little does the moon backflip onto the sun, do a kickflip on its surface and then 360 triple corkscrew rotate back to its original position. How often does that happen? Seriously, it's this. It's this clip. I you watch. Do you have a screwdriver, Kurt? Let me check. Yes. I I want it. Well, you know what you have to say. Please, please. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> I was not expecting oh, that noise to come out. Of all of those. <laughs> now that should be all for this video, but it's not. I have one more guy who I'm going to be talking about it because if I didn't, I think they would cry for a long time. Not actually. And that is X-Break. X-Break missed out on the first Meet the Chat by one position. I originally categorized all the people I'd be reviewing based on how many messages they'd sent in the chatting box and, and Break was 11th. We did 10. So this time, I will be including him. Break, congratulations. I, he nominated the emote Numsk R to describe himself only because he made the emote. So I'll give it to you, despite me not thinking you're a rage monster or look like the Hulk. Now the pro for Break is that I think he was in the first 20 people to ever support my stream and has continued to do so throughout the entire time that I've been streaming. And that's an even smaller number of people. That's a smaller number of 20. You know, that's 19 people. Actually wouldn't have made this video without break. And he was actually also pestering me to make this video for the last two years. And so this wouldn't have happened without him. Thank you very much, break. Uh, it definitely didn't annoy me every single time you brought it up. Now for his con, okay. Break never truly acclimated to Twitch culture at all. And what I mean by this is, when I talk about Twitch culture, I mean emotes, okay? I'm just using that to describe emotes, all right? Because Break is one of the people who will almost exclusively use only sub emotes, global emotes, and rarely, rarely FFZ or BTTV emotes, and maybe 7TV emotes by accident because he typed something that was an emote on there, right? He just, he's been on the platform for a long time and just never really grasp it, bar a few occasions. So, break it. If you need me to, I will do another emote seminar. We'll go through them all and you can learn how to use 7TV properly. How about that? What do you think about that? Does that sound like a good idea? Then we can wipe this con. You wouldn't even have a con anymore. Just kidding, I would find one. Now, the honorable moment I'm gonna put for break, and this is only special to me because I've known him for so long, but never gotten the privilege of being able to do this, which is being able to say that I've seen his true face. I don't know why, but there's certain people in the community where you're just like, yeah, no, I'm never gonna know what this person looks like. And it was one little, very nice video that my friend made for me where Brake appeared in it. He appeared and he said a very nice message to me with his full face showing where we got to experience it in all his glory. So now whenever I see Brake's name pop up in chat, I see him. I see that lovely face. And so break, all in all, thank you for your support throughout the last two and a half, almost three years. I appreciate you very much. Keep showing your face or something. Now, that actually is it. That is the 10 people for the Meet the Chat today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to participate in this video, you probably can't because you're not in the Cranium or over on the Twitch channel, which is your fault, Buster Brown. So unless you get over there and get integrated in the community, next time I decide to do one of these, 
You could be in it. I could scathingly review your life. How about that? So, uh, yeah. I'm a YouTuber now. Hope you look forward to all the new stuff. I'll see you soon. my motherfucking meet the chat part too, goddammit!